let me start with the positive. Um, the work that the Foreign Office has done over the past decade and more um, has been absolutely critical in bringing us to where we are now globally on climate change, having the Paris Agreement. Um, the commitment that the Foreign Office has made in the past has been superlative. I confess I was extremely worried in 2010 when William Hague came in and he had a review of what was uh, going on in terms of our, our diplomacy on climate change. But he took a good look at it and he came to the right conclusion that actually the, the soft power that we exercised in this area gave the UK huge traction and huge respect. And he maintained that cadre of civil servants within the Foreign Office who were working on climate change around the world. I congratulate him for that. The new administration at the Foreign Office um, I think is deeply worrying. I think uh, the Permanent Secretary um, is somebody who has uh, not got the same appreciation of the benefits to the UK from that influence and soft power that our climate diplomacy has given us. Um, I think the way in which David King was effectively dismissed um, was a disgrace. Um, I think the rearguard action that was fought in order to secure a replacement as the climate envoy um, uh, was welcome, but we need to see the outcome of that. And I think the way in which the, 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 the really lame reasoning that has been used that said, oh, well, the Paris Agreement has now happened. We don't need to have such uh, investment in climate diplomacy. It is either willfully, well, it's either ignorant or, or willfully damaging both to the progress that we need to make and also to, to the UK's interests. We are now at a phase where we have in Paris um, established a process that could work. But it will only work if in fact the efforts in climate diplomacy around the world are maintained and reinforced. Paris doesn't do the job, Paris gives us the tools to do the job. If you then take the labour force away from those tools, you're not going to get the job done. And the Foreign Office needs to wake up and it needs to put that back in place.